Henry Gibson, 1970, writing a letter to Gordon Brandis said, tie yourself to a star and sail with it. Every person must have a star, an ideal, to which he clings. The ideal may not be realized today or tomorrow, but you must have an ideal which will carry you forward in life, will inspire you to do deeds and acts. We are living in a society, may pro we have made economic progress, we may have made here some slight progress, but ultimately, we are living in a society with our slaves, poverty, misunderstanding, social injustice, all the wrongs of society. And there are people like, foolish like myself and many others, call ourselves anarchists, who feel that this injustice can be done away with, that people can be educated. We must in our soul believe that justice must prevail. We must have that concept that we are going to carry on, little by little. If the, you see, the trouble is, when you get people into a movement, and they see the revolution in, in over tomorrow, and it doesn't come tomorrow, they become dissolution. They were never revolutionaries. They never had a concept, a true understanding. If the understanding, no matter what happens, you will carry on that ideal. You feel that justice must prevail. The, the concept of justice, moral certainty, that right is right, it is the doctrine that no matter what you call it, anarchist syndicalist, anarchist individualist, anarchist communist, whatever label you put to it, what is the ultimate goal of all these scattered ideas? Whether it's the idea of Proudhon, whether it's Kropotkin, whether it's, it's Malatesta or anyone else, each one had little variations. But the ultimate ideal, the ultimate concept of all of these people was ultimate human justice for everybody. And that is the ideal that anarchism stands for.